Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to generate an executable files from a project inside the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So what is really an executable file? An EXE file contains an executable program for Windows. EXE is short for executable and it is the standard file extension used by Windows programs. For many Windows users, .exe files are synonymous with Windows programs, making .exe one of the most recognizable file extensions. So by deploying an application service or component, you distribute it for, for installation on other computers, devices, services, in the cloud or in the cloud. You choose the appropriate method in Visual Studio for the type of deployment that you need. So enough of all the talking, so let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see on the screen, I've got a Visual Studio 2022 open. So to get us started, let's create a new project. So we come inside a file, click the file, new project. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually selected C sharp language. So you can choose uh, F sharp, Visual Basic and whatnot. Yeah, so let's go over the C sharp pro um, language and let's select the console app here. Click on Next. Here, obviously, you can configure the project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So let's click on the Next again. So here, you can select what framework that you want to target. It's real, it's not important, also. So click on the Create. So this might actually take a while. Okay, obviously we've got it created. So as you can see here now, it's a very simple console app, C sharp console app. Yeah, console app obviously is the command line application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add. On, I'm just going to add console that read line only. So we're going to add console. The read line. Yeah, so to be able to publish this or to be able to, be able to generate an executable from this, from this project, first of all, let's build a project. So once the build is finished, as you can see, the build is finished successfully. So we right click the project. So if we go down here, as you can see, we've got publish here. So we click on the publish. So here, this is the publish dialog, yeah? So here, first, first bit here, we've got Microsoft Azure. So you can publish your application to the Microsoft Cloud. And we've got the click once. So publish your application with a click one. We will look, we will look into, we will look that into details on another video. And then we've got Docker Container Registry. So this actually helps you to publish your application to any supported container registry. That works with the Docker images. And the, the, this bit is folder. So you can publish your application to a local folder or file share. Or you can import profile. So import your published settings to deploy your app. So for this video, we look, we use the, the folder and publish it into a local file system. Yeah. So we click on the folder, then we click on the next. So here, we actually prompted with the click once and a folder. So this obviously will help you to publish your application with click once. So this will actually bypass all the necessary settings or configurations, right? Or we can select the folder again. And then we click on the next. So here, this this um, this part here, this, this is where you actually select um, where you want the application to be published. I mean, or what what folder that you want the application. You can browse it. You can browse by clicking on the browse here, and then you can select what folder that you want the application to be published. So let's click on the documents. 
So here on the document side, uh, let's click on the desktop. Yeah. And then make a new folder. So let's create a new folder. And let's call this folder app. So let's call this folder. Uh, let me rename it. Let's call it app. So let's select the app here and then click OK. So here, obviously, under the desktop, we've got a folder called app here. This is where we want the application uh, to be stored. Yeah. So after that, then we click on the finish. So as you can see, yeah, we've got the published succeeded. So you can select this this box here yeah, to automatically close when the when it's succeeded, but it's not really important, yeah. So let's close this. So as you can see here now, it's got ready to publish. Yeah, so we've got all the setup completed and the application is ready to publish. Yeah, so what we do is we click on this bit here, publish. So as you can see here, we've got the publishing completed, yeah? So what we do next is we actually select the folder where the ap application has been published, yeah? So you can click, you can click the, uh, the, the link directly from here, or you can select the folder. So this will actually open the folder. So as you can see here, on the desktop, we've got the folder that we created app, and then we've got the application here. So as you can see, it's a, it's a very simple stuff. So here, we've got a bunch of files here, but what we're actually looking for is the application here. So this is this is the application that has been actually published here. So to be able to open the application, we can click on it. We can double click on the, on the application extension. So first of all, let's look at the properties. So we right click the application and then we click on the properties. Yeah. So if we look at it here, the type of file is now .exe or .executable. Yeah, so this means that the console app 2 is an um, executable file. So let's close this bit here and double click it. So once you click it, this will actually this will actually run the program. So as you can see here, we've got a program run there. Hello world. So once we come back to the Visual Studio and we open the program file, yeah, we've got hello world here. Yeah, so basically we've been able to generate an executable from this project. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a very simple stuff. Yeah, not too much complication. So I'm just going to leave it here. So you can go ahead and try with, with some other application like WPF, WinForms, and whatnot. Yeah, and I hope this actually this video actually helps you. And once again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.